As they say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Which is why planning your year ahead is something that everyone, especially you, should do. This is Alexandra Villaruela Abrego and welcome to Alexandra at Work. In today's episode, I will be teaching you how you can plan your year in advance. I'm gonna be teaching you how I've been planning my year in advance for the past almost decade, really. You know, every single year in the month of November, I take the time to plan the year that is to come, and I wanna teach you how you can also do that. Now, before I get started with today's episode, please be sure to visit my website, alexandravillaruel.com and subscribe to my email list. Because if you like this kind of video, you know, if you like these planning organization type of videos, you will love being part of my email list because every week I will be sending over your way different strategies, different tips and tricks on how you can run your life and business in a very efficient and productive way. Now, as I said a few moments ago, every single year I plan the year ahead in the month of November. The reason why I've been doing that for many years now is because the last job that I ever had, so the last time I ever worked for someone that I had a boss, actually, that I wasn't the boss, I remember that in that company, which was a car company, it was a dealership, they used to plan the marketing, the promotions, the finances for the year to come in the month of November. So every November, that's where all the executives would get together and they would plan for the coming year. And I always thought that that was such a great way to do things because, you know, in December, it's the holidays, people are busy, people go on vacations, you're busy, you know, with Christmas and all of that in the new year. So you don't really have time to focus on that. So the month of November is really an ideal time to do that. Now, of course, if you're watching this video in January or in March or in June, it doesn't mean that you have to wait till the month of November. You better do it now. But if you are close to the month of November or if right now you watch this video and it is November, well, why, why not take the opportunity and take the time really to do that? As you can see right behind me, we have two wall planners. This first one is the yearly planner and this one is the quarterly planner. So the 90 day planner besides these, and we're not going to dive into the other ones, but I also have a monthly planner. I have a weekly planner and I have a daily planner. So we'll touch on those in another video, of course. Now let's focus on these two ones because these are the ones that you need when it comes to planning your year. So when you start planning your year, the first thing that you have to figure out is what are going to be your priorities throughout the year. I divide my year, and I believe you should too, in four quarters, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. For every quarter, you should have from one to three priorities and not more. If you are new at starting to plan, you know, at planning your, your months and your years, you should start by only one priority per quarter and not overwhelm yourself with three. And like I said, the maximum is really three because if you go more than three, you will most probably end up not doing that thing that you were supposed to do. When I use the word priority, I also mean a project. So it can be anything from launching a new program, it can be uh, launching a new service or uh, creating the new version of a, of a pro product that you have or releasing a new book or releasing your new website. All of these fall into the category of projects or priorities. So once you figure out what your priorities are for every quarter of the year, for Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4, the next step now is to start planning. And that's when you start using your 90-day planner. Now, this one is really my favorite, I have to say it, because this is where you're actually gonna be able to see what are the deadlines for every priority or project that you have. So what you do here is, if, let's say, you're planning for the beginning of the year, so this one would be the month of January, then we would have here February, and then here we would have March. For every single month, you would be writing down for the project that you have, what are the different deadlines, you know? So let's say you are releasing a book, right? You're, you wrote a book and now you're releasing the book. Then maybe in January, on the 15th of January, your first deadline is gonna be to uh, send the book to the editor. Then the second deadline is gonna be to do the photo shoot for the cover and that's gonna be on February 1st. And then the third deadline is gonna be to uh, contact uh, uh, publishing houses, I don't know, you know, so you're going to go on and on and on like that in this first qu uh, quarter of the year, which is going to be uh, all about releasing your new book. 
Now, if you have more than one priority, more than one project, and you have, let's say, up to three, the thing that you do, and what I've been doing now for a long time, which works very well, is that you simply use different colors, right? So uh, all of the deadlines that you have for your priority number one, let's say you use red. For priority number two, you're gonna use blue, and then for priority number three, it's gonna be green, let's say. And like that is gonna be very easy to just look at your monthly, at your 90-day planner, should I say, and to be able to see overall what are the different deadlines and the different uh, uh, timelines that you have for every single step that is going to bring you towards accomplishing that project. Now, once you are done with the 90 day planner, that's when we can move on to the next one, which is the yearly planner. As you can see here, you have the different months of the year. So you have January, February, March, April, and so on and so on. And next to each month, while well, you have all of the days of the month until the 30th or 31st or even 29 or 28th of the month. And with this calendar, what you usually have to do is you have to plan the promotions, right? So this is the promotional calendar. So what you do is, let's say in the first quarter, so January, February, and March, that's the quarter where your priority is to release your book, right? And now let's say the release date of your book is for March 25th. Well, what you're gonna do is that on March 25th, you're gonna write it down, release of the book, and you're gonna write it maybe with the color that you used on your 90-day planner. Now, before and after this, this is where you're gonna be writing the promotional efforts that you're gonna be doing. So whether it is to send emails to your list, to make maybe videos here on YouTube, to maybe contact different people or go on radio shows or on TV shows, you're gonna be writing down on this yearly planner, what are the promotional and marketing efforts that you will be doing in order to promote this project, this priority that you have. So let's recap a little. The first step, the first thing that you must do to plan your year ahead is to make sure you break it down into four sections, into four parts, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. So divide your year in four. You can even grab a piece of paper, you can divide it in four, and then you can write down the priority. So that's step number two. Step number two is for each quarter of the year, you're going to write down what are your priorities one, two, or three priorities for each quarter. Maximum is three. Once you figure out what are gonna be the projects or priorities for every quarter, the next thing to do is you have to write it down in your 90-day planner. So you start, of course, with Q1. In Q1 would be, let's say, January, February, and March. And that's when you start to break down that project, that priority, in different steps, you know? So you know that, okay, so my priority is to launch my new website. What are the different steps that I have to take in order to move forward in this project, in this priority? and then you write down the deadlines for each and every step into your 90-day planner. Once you are done with this, the last step, the last thing that you have to do is you need to go into your yearly planner and that's when you really go and plan the whole year in terms of promotional efforts, you know? What are the things that you're going to do in order to promote, to market that new program, service, product, or anything that you have? Because that's very important, you know? It's different to have the deadlines for the steps to make that project happen, you know, to create that. And it's another thing Thing to create the marketing plan for that and a lot of people forget about that part they forgot about the marketing side of it now of course when it comes to planning your year there are many different things that you can do many other things that you can do like let's say plan your finances for the past few years now I've been using my ABA financial binder to plan the finances ahead so to do all of the forecasting for my business for every month, for every week, and even for every day. So how much am I projecting? You know, how much do I want to make every single day in the business? And that's a whole nother video. So if you're interested in having a video where I talk about the AVA financial binder here on Alexandra TV in the series Alexandra at Work, well, let me know in the comment section. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And if you did, I have a special little gift for you. You know, I know it can be very hard at first when you start planning your year and your months and your quarters for the first time to do it you know it's very hard to just sit down and do it because you don't know where to start or how to start so we've created this free template that is going to help you figure out what are your priorities and projects for every quarter of the year. So it's this free template where you can see quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four, and it will just simplify your life and make it easier for you to really uh, start, you know, start planning your year ahead. If you want to download this free resource, all you have to do is go in the description below this video, click on the link, and you'll be able to download it for free. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like it, don't forget to share it with all of your friends, and of course, to subscribe for new videos every single, almost every single day. You really you don't want to miss out on that and in the comment section below let me know what are your priorities or projects for the months or quarters to come or even for the years to come we would love to hear from you so that is it for today and i will see you very soon